Hey YouTube, Zach guy here. Uh, today, i uh, got a little pocket survival kit that I carry with me normally. This is uh, a kit that was inspired by Doug Ritter of uh, Equipped to Survive. You can see that at the top. But it was uh, put together by Advanced Medical Kits for him. He uh, designed it and they put it out there. I believe I got this one at uh, REI several years ago, probably over 10 years ago. And uh, this right here is the contents that came in the kit. We'll be pulling that out in a minute. Doug Ritter, uh, some people might also know, he is the founder of an organization called Knife Rights. Um, it's basically the knife version of the NRA. <laughs> and uh, he does a lot of things um, at state level, getting knife laws changed and so on. So, but he's also a pilot and he came up with this little kit as a survival uh, thing for pilots to carry with them, you know, private pilots to carry with them in case they have to put the plane down somewhere. They have a small kit with them if they don't have a larger one in the, the plane. Sometimes people will have a larger one in the plane, but this will be in a vest pocket, jacket pocket, whatever. This will be with them when they have to get out of the plane and it might be the only thing they have. I carry this as a backup to my normal kit that I carry when I'm out wandering the woods and whatnot. And I'll put it in my field shirt pocket or my pants pocket and carry it with me. Oh, I wanted to show you what's in here and then the, there's a couple things that I've, I'll add at the end that I felt that would just make this a better kit. So to start off with, it's in this envelope. It's a watertight envelope. Uh, it keeps everything dry. It, uh, it's got a double seal there. It's heavy duty plastic. And I'll go ahead and just pull everything out real quick. And we'll go through it. Okay, as I said, it's got the uh, plastic, heavy-duty plastic envelope that it comes in. And that's about a 3x4 um, pouch there. Now it comes with uh, right-in-the-rain paper and a pencil. So if you need to, you know, leave a note somewhere or just try and do some calculations or write down what you're doing. It also comes with the survival sheet. Just basic uh, survival information. Knots and air to ground signaling. And how to use a few of the items in the kit. And on the top here, this stop, think, observe, plan, that really works. Um, one time I did get lost when I was uh, out with a friend a new area I hadn't been to before got dark got turned around got lost first thing I did was stop sit down and take stock of where I was and what I was doing and figure out where I was and then made a plan and was able to uh, go on and got myself out of there finally found a place that I recognized and knew where to go to get to the vehicle so that's very handy now um, here's the contents and I'll just bring this up here so you can uh, hopefully that'll focus 
and you can uh, freeze it see what all that is but I'm gonna go over it like I said I have pencil and paper have a little button compass and it's accurate this is not for being very specific I call these little compasses that away compass because it just basically gives you your cardinal directions as to north south east and west then it's got a little bit of wire uh, they call it snare wire um, it's a stainless steel wire use it for a lot of things cordage or making a snare and then you have your cordage it's about uh, 20 feet of uh, nylon cord yeah, put that back down there and then a uh, bobbin of thread uh, I believe this is um, let me look on here it's nylon thread yeah it's 10.5 pound test so you can use it as thread or fishing line and I'll come back to this striker in just a moment and you have your little tinder bundles you pull one out pull it apart and hit it with the spark to, to light it or you also have a Fresnel lens that you can use the sun to uh, get the tinder going. Also, if you're like me, uh, you might need this to be able to read the uh, instructions there. And then it's got about three foot of duct tape, which is very handy. And as you can see, I've used this a couple times. I actually used it as a, uh, took a piece I'd gotten a cut somewhere, used it as a Band-Aid. So, what would we do without duct tape? And a whistle. Uh, you can blow a whistle a lot longer than you can holler. And it's a fairly decent whistle. So, and you can use some of the cordage to put it through the hole here and uh, tie it around your neck uh, that way you don't lose it and then you have a sheet of aluminum foil heavy foil you can make uh, a drinking vessel out of it a pot to boil some water with and uh, so on and then you have the uh, signal mirror and it's in a plastic case it has instructions on the back how to use it uh, it's a pretty good signal mirror you got your uh, here in the middle your aiming uh, spot also has a hole in it to where again take some cordage and probably put the whistle and the mirror together hang it around your neck so you don't lose it uh, I remember when I was in survival school in the Air Force, they were talking about a pilot that had bailed out, uh, got into his dinging, went through his survival kit, put the uh, mirror was on cord, put that around his neck, and then was messing around with the survival kit. A large wave came, dumped his butt out of there. He lost just about everything that was in his kit, the seat kit but he still had the signal mirror <clears throat> he was able to use that to signal a aircraft that was out searching for him and because of the mirror they were able to spot him and came and knew where to come pick him up at and then it comes with a scalpel blade also um, I'm not a big fan of razor blades and scalpel blades in uh, survival kits mainly because they're very fragile but this one is shaped to where you could uh, take a piece of uh, wood if you've got it split put it in there lash around there and then you have a handle for your uh, scalpel blade now the striker like I said I bought this a few years ago and I had two kits one that I used play around with to see how things worked and then one that I kept in reserve 
for emergencies. Um, this one still works. The other one, I went to uh, strike it and it had corroded and did not work. So these things, some uh, survival kits, when you go and buy them, if you've got them for a while, you're just keeping it as a backup. You need to go check the things and make sure they still work every so often. So, and then we have the tube in here. We've got a sewing needle, some fish hooks. I don't want to take them out because uh, kind of a pain to try and get everything back in and some safety pins. But they're all in this plastic tube just to make it easier to, to store them. And that's a handy little kit there. Now there's two things that I added to this because I remember when I was in the Air Force uh, going through survival school they had a parachute survival kit which was basically this set up here uh, except for the mirror that wasn't in the, the parachute survival kit but they had a small pen knife not this one this is just a pen knife I'm putting in there and then I believe in carrying some matches I've got this little foil packet of lifeboat matches there's five of them with a striker in here so if this doesn't work I'm having a hard time with that I've got some lifeboat matches that are waterproof and windproof so that's it for this kit let's see if we can get it back in here okay I'm back got everything packed up uh, took me a little bit longer than I thought as you can see I got everything back in there plus the knife and the matches and again this package is five inches by about four and a quarter fits into most shirt pockets field shirt pockets or pants pockets and it's uh, convenient to carry like I said this is my backup in case I lose everything else I still got this so if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and remember always be prepared <laughs>